Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Andres. Are you driver driving? Good evening, Sophia. Hello, teacher. <clears throat> okay, and this. Thank you so much. Hi, Sophia. How are you doing today? I'm. I'm really tired, but uh, it was easy at the end of the day. I oh. have a, a, a little problems, but it was doable. Okay. Well, what time do you get up, Sophia? Around five a.m. Five a.m. Yeah, it is difficult because the uh, uh, usually the, the alarm sound sounded, but uh, I, I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It sounds and you don't want to get up, right? No. Today uh, was the, the the situation because uh yesterday um I went to bed really late. Mm -hmm. So you I went, and you went late to the, to to your Yes. Bed. Yes. Uh, oh, I understand you. It is really difficult to get up. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you have a slept probably just five or less than five hours. Yeah. I, I I needed to read some things. So I went to so that around the 12. So, the same happened um, to me. The same happened to me mm -hmm. because, because after the class, I had to wait like 20 minutes because the video is um uploading. Loaded. Loading. Uh -huh. And then I need to upload it in, in YouTube. Because oh. that is required, right? So okay. doing that, I wanna wait around ten forty five. Mm. Yes. And yeah. after that, um I don't know why time is running so fast. <laughs> but I got to bed around eleven eleven thirty. Oh. Mm -hmm. when go to the bed after the usually hour it's really time really really time because uh, our body is uh, accustomed it, it is yeah we are um we we are used well well we used to right sleep probably uh, six or six, seven hours six or seven hours yes i used to to sleep seven hours before yeah. but now yeah. i am sleeping just around five and i'm feeling yeah. i'm feeling the the difference i, I took um some coffee first in the morning after took the shower and it was really difficult for me because uh, I had a tachycardia. Really? <laughs> because it, it, it's not usually I take a coffee in the very morning, maybe around the 9 a.m. Uh, 
or something like that. But uh, it, it uh, in this this case was really important for me to take uh, some coffee to to fill away start <laughs> to start the day. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's difficult, but don't do it if you <laughs> if you already experienced that. It is not good. Yeah. And okay. I, I'm going to avoid that situation. Yes, because it is dangerous for your health. Yes. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Gilberto, Hazel, you, uh, Robert. Good evening. good evening. Maria Leticia, Mauricio, Hazel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <clears throat> I hope you are okay. Good. Uh, let me just make sure. Roberto, ¿va a estar de oyente otra vez? ¿O se le quedó así el nombre? Robert? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, I am li listening only for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Then I am ready. Okay. Yes. Hmm. It's okay. Well, thank you. Uh, let me see. Okay, good. Hmm. Just allow me a moment. I'm waiting for the one that um are going to present today. But I guess not all will attend the class today. Or if you if you have, if they attend the class will be just as a listener. Rodrigo is working. He told me he will be just as a listener. Lady is having issues with the electricity and, and the internet because it's raining. <clears throat> will be also as a listener. Uh let me see who else. William Roque, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? William? Please write in the chat if you can if you are not able to speak, please write in the chat. Please let me know if you will be as a listener or if you are a available to participate. Okay, Andres, Andres is driving. Okay, and Robert, 30 minutes. Okay, good. Let me move the activity to see who will be at uh, the end of the class, I want to move the, the activity that is missing at the end of the class. Okay. <clears throat> well, today is Wednesday, September 13, 2023. Um, the, we have an agenda for today. We're going to a study how to use perfect model and of course at the end we have a conversation at the end of this class you will be able to use perfect model in any conversation that is the grammar for today that is called perfect model we're going to see it okay <clears throat> well first activity that i have for you There are some questions about um, jobs, okay? So I want that you tell me any information that is requested in these questions that we have in the will. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Who wants to be the first one, volunteer, to answer one of these questions? Raise your hands. Okay, Mauricio Buruca, thank you so much. I'm going to speak yeah. the wheel. Okay. 
Okay. Is changing a job is, is okay, is changing a job a stressful time in one's life? How? Is changing a job a stressful time in one's life? Uh, <clears throat> when you change know. your job, uh -huh. mm -hmm. is it stressful for you? When I change my job. Mm -hmm. For example, so you want to improve your salary. That is an example, right? So you uh, try applying another company. So they, get, they give you the job. So that means that you have to quit the job that you have and you will have a new job. Uh, how stressful is that for you? Oh, well, maybe I think that it's not so stressful because uh, if I know that I'm going to to have a uh, improve in all all in all in all the the way, mm -hmm. um, maybe for me. Uh, I think it's not no stressful. Going to be a stressful. Uh -huh. It will be a challenge, yes. but not a stressful. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. But when you are obligated, imagine in your company, so your boss tell you, "Okay, uh, Mauricio." So you will have the same salary that you have now, but you will change your your role. You will have another position. That will be I a stressful to, for you. May, yeah, maybe more <laughs> if the more if my job, my boss uh, tell me uh, uh, I'm going to to work for two hours more without the uh, 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 any any uh, salary increased. Uh huh. No, uh, but but um, well. No more time because you, they have to respect, right? They are uh, the time that you need that you that uh, every employee work in a company. Only change the role, probably. Um, more difficult task the one that you do now. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it, it, in uh, well, uh, that that that's right. That's right. But maybe maybe I. I would have some stressful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I consider yes. that. Yes, it will be. Yes. It is yes. stressful because stressful. somehow you are um in a comfort zone when you know the product, when you know the process that you do every day, right? It's not yes. difficult for you. But yeah. if you need to receive a new training, new information, memorize new processes, so that is stressful. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank Very you. good. Thank you so okay. much. Another volunteer for our next question? <clears throat> Thank you, Gilberto. What would you do if you lost your job, Gilberto? What would you, what you, what you do if? If you lost your job. What you do if you lost your job? Si usted pierde, perdiera su trabajo, ¿qué hiciera? Eh, en my case... Eh, in his, uh, I'm working in my house uh, and sales men and, and for example for example uh, the cell cell species uh, for Al detalle, ¿cómo podría decir? Al, al detalle o al menor, o al menor, teacher. 
Uh, in minor uh, quantity. In minor quantity. Mm -hmm. uh, start your own business, like a small a small store. Yes, uh, my client uh, este, siempre me dan la oportunidad de venderle, ¿verdad? Como, como, eh, no sé cómo explicarme. Mm, but, siempre... but imagine that you lost you you lost your job, okay? No contact, no more contact with your boss, okay? Eh, you pierde el trabajo, no more contact pero... with your boss. So you have to look for a different options. What would yeah, you do? My different option initial my my business. Okay. Yeah. Initiate or money. start. Initiate sell bend uh, money. Uh, okay. Marañón, semilla marañón, verdad? Okay. So would you, would you, would you like to start your own business? So that yes. what that will be the other option. Okay. Okay. Spices. Uh, spices. Spices. Remember Spice. when you said uh, especia? So that is spices. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, how do you say semilla? The marañón? Do you know? See, sí. yes. Cashews. Cashews. You know, cashew. Cashews. Oh. Cashews. Sell mm -hmm. cashews. Okay. Or not. Okay, everything related to to what you do now, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Let me see. Who else volunteer? Another volunteer? Okay, hey, so. Okay, do you think you are a good office mate to have, hey, so? Good evening. Yes, I think so, but in my case, it's a little difficult because I am a boss, so uh, sometimes uh, my co work maybe can can say a different thing no maybe but i think so <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult because uh, we are a, a, a sales team so yeah it's complicated but i think so <laughs> I, I try to at least <laughs> okay so how do you evaluate yourself as a supervisor, because you are the supervisor, how many people do you manage? Twelve. Twelve. And one assist and administrative assist. Uh, and and we are a good team. Uh, and we we accomplish the goals and and we have we have good results. Very very good results. Okay, that is good. It means that you are a good uh, supervisor, good boss, if you have good results. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, another volunteer? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, Maria Leticia, are you available? Yes. Okay, you will be next. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. What would would encourage you to stay in a particular job or career? Uh, 
So, in your job, now, in your in your role, in the position that you have, what encourage you to stay there? Um, number one, <laughs> porque me gusta. Because I like it. I like it. And... Todo me nace en español, teacher. <laughs> no, try. Try to speak in English. Okay. Um, I like uh, interactuar. ¿Cómo se dice? Interact. Interact with uh, per the person. Okay, with my co-workers or with uh, the customers? Um, ambos. Both. Okay. Yeah. Um, porque, eh, bueno. Try to do I... it in English. Try to do it, Maria. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Como se dice, el adulto mayor muchas veces necesita que lo escuchen y cuando llegan a mi trabajo prácticamente quieren platicar, okay. que alguien los Elder, escuche. Elderly people, elderly, it means that people have, um, ah. after 65, 60 years old, they are, uh, they are considered elderly people, okay, oh, adulto okay. mayor. Yeah. Uh -huh. They like to to have a conversation. Uh -huh. They they need need to be listened. That someone listen to them. Yes. Okay. Try to try to tell me the ideas in English. Um. I like uh, the li listener. Um, I like to listen to people, especially elderly, uh, elderly people. Uh, the problems. Mm -hmm, their problems. The problems can. And <laughs> que ellos tienen los, los problemas que ellos tienen sus enfermedades. Yeah. Their illnesses. Illnesses and in, incluso, bueno, todo, porque desde alegría hasta llanto necesitan ellos. Okay. Ser escuchado. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, try to uh, create your ideas in English, okay, Maria Leticia? No piensa en inglés ya, okay? Try to think in English. That will help you a lot, believe me. So that is a problem that we have when we start, uh, we try to speak, that everything we, we we want to translate it, okay? But if you uh, do that, it will be more difficult for you to speak in English. So uh, stop translating in your mind so try to think in english so you know a lot of vocabulary now right that you may use to speak in english okay okay we start to think okay in your mind uh it is funny probably but uh one technique that can work with uh with you probably will be talking in the mirror right so that will help you but try to think uh the ideas in english no more spanish okay you switch you switch okay your mind um when we when we speak two languages okay so we have like a switch in our mind okay so okay. if we speak in spanish <laughs> So it is different. And then we switch, 
we change and we start to think in, in English. And we can say everything um, that you can say in Spanish, in English. Being a translator, translator is when you translate in from written to written, right? It is, you have the, the um, a text, you have a text and you translate it to, to, to another language. Being an interpreter, okay, it is more difficult because you have to think in both the languages at the same time. So I would like to be an interpreter, but uh, it is more difficult, I consider, because there are some ideas that you cannot translate, that you cannot uh, say um, in the same way that we speak Spanish, right? There are some words that, that they don't have translation. So we had to we had to create a similar word to to say, but the meaning probably may change. That is why it is difficult. Ser un traductor um, es muy difícil, okay? But, but uh, it is good because they earn a lot of money. If they translate, uh, they interpret for famous programs or series or uh, famous people, so they will have a lot of money. But they need to be really fast. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, okay, Robert, are you available now? Yes, it's I'm okay. ready. Good, you will be next. Okay. Would you relocate for a better job offered? Okay, would you relocate for a better job offer? Yes, I I relocate if I I get a better job offer. For example, right now I am studying English because uh, I want to get a better job. Uh, for example, in a call center or, or in other companies, if I receive a, a offer or relocate for a better job offer, I am ready for, for the relocate. The, right now, I am, I am working at, at company in, in order for long, but I think if I receive a, a offer to for to move to other countries or other cities, I am ready for that. And one of my goals is is if I uh, if I get a a better job in other company, in my dream is 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 working in in other country, for example, uh, in the United States or in Asia. Or, or Australia. Uh, this is this is my dream. And okay. In, in my answer for for this question, I am ready for that. <laughs> good, good. So you can start applying a call center if you want. Just let me know which call center you want to apply, and I and I will request that someone refer you, and they will call okay. you. They will. Yeah, they will uh interview you, so you have to be ready for the interview. Let me know okay. when you are ready, okay? I consider yeah. guys that um some of you are almost ready, okay? Almost ready to have the level that they require. But what you need to do is um practice, practice, mm -hmm. practice, practice, and practice. Practice yes. your pronunciation. Work, call center, please. Sorry? Uh, please uh, get me a, a New York with a call center, please. Do you want to work in a in a call center too, Carlos? Yes, I would like to. I would like to work. Yes. Okay. Well, 
if you want to try, just let me know. So yeah. the salaries now are from seven hundred dollars up. Means seven hundred dollars is the minimum for okay. a bilingual uh agent. Uh, but there are others that they offer eighty. I'm uh, sorry, a uh, seven hundred. The other offer eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Take care. Plus bonus. Yes, Gilberto? Uh, Robert. Oh, Robert. Yeah. And I need to apply to the call center here in El Salvador. Um, my goal is apply by November or December or, or, or I start work in a call center for, by January 2024. Can you give me advice for, for practice and I, I get a job in a call center? Mm. If you have the, the resources, I mean the money, that will be extra for you to have a course with English for call center because they will teach you good customer service in English, of course. They will give you like a strategies how to um how to deal with different customers. Um they will give you vocabulary related to to um what you are going to use in a call center. Okay, that will help you if you take probably from three to five months there. Um, that will be like that uh, extra classes for you, right? You can um check if they have availability on weekends, on Saturdays. You can go all, all Saturday morning. And once that you get higher in one of these places, those places, um, they will give you an extra training related to the specific product that they that you're going to handle um, and they will teach you uh, vocabulary technical vocabulary related with that for example for example there is one account that is called playstation so it's related to games right so you will be able to know a lot of vocabulary related to that specific uh, account right um you will receive a training for one month or more it depends on the the policies that they have for how lot they have to prepare you they will pay you fr from the moment that you start the training and at the end they will uh, evaluate you to see if you are ready if you are ready to to take calls and and provide good customer service and everything um, if you want to try, well, just let me know where you want to try and I can recommend some places or I can request people that I know that work in call center. Um, they can refer you or add your information in the system and they will call you. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Okay. When you feel ready, just let me know. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me see. Another volunteer. Okay. Is, is having good relationship in the workplace important? Someone? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Why, Carlos? Uh, because... Uh, to be uh, kind or honest in with a good uh, um, action, respect to the co-worker. And I think that is very important because uh, grow up with like a person. Right, and I uh, keep 
the most time in the in the company or okay. instead a uh, possibility to get another job yes if you mm -hmm. have a good relationship with your boss right and you do everything good so you, your boss can promote you to a new position right yes yes of course increase my salary could be correct very good good okay another volunteer i need for this question it says why do people change jobs or careers why do you think Mm -hmm. Opinions? Maybe, but Bobby. the people uh, change a new words or, or, or will change because uh, Buscan? They, they look for? Yes, they look for uh, good environments of Joe, a workplace with uh, a very nice uh, relationship. Mm hmm okay they look for a new environment new man management probably they don't like the management that is that the company handle or the there's management of, yes Mauricio there's a, there's a lot of circumstances that you can change your work or your career yeah probably for for grow up grow the salary up. Mm -hmm. or better salary or for or, or the position or for the environment has, has already said Carlos. Correct. Yes. Those are the principal factors that can uh, affect or that can um, obligate you because there are some occasions, situations that you feel like that, obligated to, to quit and go to another place. Because you are looking for better salary, better uh, relationship in the uh, with co-workers or both, right? Um, probably because you don't like the location of the place. It is really far away from your house. And you need a, another place that is near of your house. Yes. So we evaluate all this to, re to change the job or career. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Maurice. Uh, I, I think the, the reason number one is because, uh, I, I, in my opinion, uh, the reason number one is because the people needs to improve his salary. Uh, I think. Okay. Yes, yes. that is number one. Mm. There are some cases that is not really for a salary improvement. It is because it doesn't matter that if they earn uh, less than that. I know people that they, I know someone that uh, she uh, quit her job because she applied for another job near of her house. She was from Sonsonate, I remember. And she was working in San Salvador, so every day she has to travel, right? Move from San Sonat to San Salvador. But then when she applied to another place and she got the job, she said, okay, no, I prefer to to have a, uh, less money, but I don't want to travel. I, I um, She will save um, energy, right? She probably now uh, as, as sleeps uh, better because she not she doesn't travel more than two hours um, and I guess she enjoy now more um, that the job that she has that done before. Okay, good. Let me see. Another volunteer for this one. Okay, what is 
uh, the most important thing people appreciate about their jobs or career? What do you think? Andres, yes? Me to chair. Be honest. Andres, go ahead. You can start. Uh, the idea is from the other people appreciate about our job, about the job of the employee. Oh, what is the most important thing? Okay, people appreciate about their jobs or careers. I think that, for example, if some people have a good salary, it depends. It could change because some people think or appreciate more the the salary. The salary. And other people uh, um, appreciate the environment that they that they work because they feel good. They don't feel under pressure. They feel comfortable in their mm -hmm. job. Correct. And another and other people, I think that because they feel like, like a family and they feel comfortable with their partners, with their co-workers. So I think that it, it depends of, of the job, that okay. it will change. There are a lot of uh, things that someone can appreciate about their jobs. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Andres. Someone else? Different opinion? Uh, to be promoted too, it's very important. And how do you feel it in, in, in your in your work? Okay. Yes. That is important. If you are doing a good job, right? You up will appreciate a lot. If you are promoted to an, another position, that you will have better uh, benefits. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, very good questions here about jobs. Okay, continue. We're going to continue talking about uh, the positions or topic related to jobs. Okay, what? How are employees monitored? at your company, okay? ¿Cómo los monitorean a ustedes o a sus compañeros? What kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? ¿Cómo documentan esa información that you are doing a good job? Someone? Tapis, tapis. What is that, Mauricio? Tapis. Tapis. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English, um, but it's in fact uh, they have some evaluations of your work. Mm -hmm. In sales, it's about how how much money do you sell, or how 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 effective you are when you are have a client. Performance in performance indicators, KPIs. Okay. Yes. Performance yeah. indicator, right? Uh, that is PI. PI. Okay. So, but the, the there are different ways that company uh monitor employees, right? Um, Andres, you have your raise, you raise your hands. Tell me, tell us. Thank you, sir. No, I going. I want to say that I want to say that in my company, for example, uh, they make a different service mm -hmm. uh, for the different clients. For, for example, how was the, the, the service that we bring with the security? If we respond in the moment or if we, if we it's like a day, 
they check the, the time that the, como que ellos, I'm sorry, I'm going to say in Spanish, este, como que ellos revisan el tiempo que nos tardamos en responder. Okay, that is the, the time that we, that handle, we, time. The of, uh, handle time. Es como handle de manejar, ok, de, de, de ustedes, uh, handle, handle time. time, they handle the time, or they, they review the handle time, right, that you take to resolve a customer issue. Yes, this is okay. like that. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Okay, so but the customer has to take a survey. Yes, that is a good way to to monitor the the employees. Uh, and besides that, customers uh score your job by give you like a rate. Is someone else like your boss or someone that is in charge to monitor what you do? Yes or not. We have a QA department, for example. Oh, you have a QA? Yes. Quality control? Yes, uh, exactly no. for calls, because we we just sell by by call, so we have a, a, a QA in as a team, we have a coach for QA. Okay, very good. Okay. And, okay. Rodrigo says, in my job, we were evaluated with the progress and fulfillment of the auditors in form through work report presented to the board of directors. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh, Alberto. Okay, the company report the sell the product. The carrying uh, quantity, uh, report in the quantity of the quantity, report quantity, and one day or a week in uh, the 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 cell, the cell product, and it's uh, también in the, in the, como le podría decir, cuando nos cobramos las facturas, eh, también el reporte de entrada de dinero, ¿verdad? Nos llevan ahí el control, ¿verdad? No sé cómo explicarle el report de cover, de, de invoice. De... Mm -hmm. I guess you have a metric. Uh or goal, right? But it's related to, to the amount of, of money, okay? That you do at the end of that specific day. I don't know if you do it for per week or per month, but yes. Yeah. And the evaluation is based on uh, the amount of money that you um, sell or that you bring to the company at the end, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. If you work in in a sales department, yes. Um, the most important uh metric there will be the amount of money that you bring to the company. Okay. And based on that, you will earn uh, bonuses, right? Uh, commissions. You will, at the end, you will have extra, extra money. Okay, good. Let me continue. I don't know if we have um, all the people for the pending presentation. If not, we're going to do it at the end. Vamos a hacer el final entonces. 
Okay, the pending presentation that we have from yesterday. Okay, I have a conversation here. I need two uh, volunteers. The conversation is between kitchen manager and Mary. Raise your hands if you want to participate. Okay. Okay, Robert, you will be kitchen manager and Sophia will be Mary. Go ahead. Okay, where's Mario? He's late for this chief. Mario, goodness, I get a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, good. Very good. Should and could, right? Should have and could have. And then uh, the, the verb will be participle. Okay, pay attention to the grammar structure. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, uh, Mauricio Buruca and Maria Leticia. Yes, teacher. Uh, where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Gilberto and Sofia, go ahead. Okay, what is Mario? He's late for his chief manager. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called call me. Uh -huh. Directly, if he had called to me phone, I call her phone and substitute it by now. I have signed with afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay, shift, Gilberto. Shift. 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 Uh huh. Okay, remember that will be should. No mencionamos la L. Should. Okay, and could. No mencionamos la L tampoco. Could. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your participation. Um, questions about this conversation? No, okay. Look at the conversation and complete the statements. Read the statements, there are three statements. Huh? Number one, I should have told you earlier. That is number one, right? Okay, okay. number two. Number two. He should have called me directly. 
Okay, very good. Number three, if he had called to, to my phone, I... I could have found. I could have found a substitute oh. by now. Okay, very good. The three examples of the grammar point that we're going to see today. Okay, now I have a question here. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? How affected that to your, your production day? Think about that. How did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absent employee's responsibility? In the case of Mar Mary, she assumed um, Mario's responsibility. She says, uh, the afternoon, I will cover him. Okay. So any experience that you may have in your company about a staff not going to work and they, they didn't notice the company until the last minute? Someone? Teacher, in this case, uh, in my company, uh, all co-worker tried to learn a couple uh, how to handle the the labor of the the other co-worker mm -hmm. uh, because in this case in in this question that a member of my staff not going to work uh, for example I tried uh, to do uh some activities that they have that he have mm -hmm. yes uh, for which reason uh all my co-worker uh knows a little bit that things the road that is work okay it means that you take part of his of i mean of the Co-worker responsibility, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So you distribute like all the tasks that the person yes. do or does um, between others, between all the, the employees. Okay. Obviously, obviously that uh, maybe any employees not going on but one day for example but one day mm -hmm. yes but <laughs> it's a one week or or, or 15 days or, or one month obviously we need to uh apoyo support yes support of course yes yes, yes because there's a lot of activities that uh, we don't have uh you uh, don't have time or yes yeah, uh -huh. for, uh, and you are not paid for that. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, obviously. Uh -huh. okay. Complimiento, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Uh, feel, feel, feel food, or I don't know, feel, feeling, feeling. Fulfill, fulfill, or uh, complete, complete okay. all, all okay. the activities. Yes, okay, yes. good. Well, good question, right? Okay, so now we're going to see how to use perfect model. We we call them perfect, why? Because we use past participle here, okay? And it has to do with a perfect, uh, perfect tense also. Okay, use perfect models to, pro to express regret. Do you know what is regret? Regret, right? Arrepentimiento. To express regret or remorse about past actions. Um, we have the first example. Do you mind if you read it, Carlos? 
Excuse me, teacher. Do you mind if you read the first example that we have here? This one. Sorry, this one. Uh, I mean that it's a, the example that I, I... Just read it. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, you should have plus past participle to talk about regret. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, continue. Yes, the other two. Okay. I should have sent the report sooner. I shouldn't have asked her to carry two boxes. Okay. It means that you regret about that. Okay. Uh, or remorse means that you feel sad or sorry because you didn't do it. Okay. Um, remorse. That is good word for me too. Okay. I should have sent the report sooner because uh, he sent it late. She uh, is remorse or regret about that, right? Uh, I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. Probably she she uh, doesn't have the conditions to carry the boxes, right? Uh, and that will affect her. And that is why now the person regret about that. Okay? Good examples. Okay, could and would have are often, uh, okay, could and, and would have are often used with if plus had plus pa past participle. Okay, there is an example here. If I had known, if I have known you were, were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. Okay. Si hubiera sabido que estabas enfermo, hubiera, uh, hubiera tenido, hubiera obtenido a un sustituto, hubiera buscado, uh, that means que se lo hubiera reemplazado. Okay, that is a situation that could happen, but didn't didn't happen. Okay, that is why it says if I have known. Okay, the other example says the manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. Okay, but the person didn't mention it was not done. Okay. Uh, that is why uh, it is used if, if, okay, if you have mentioned it to him, okay. The manager tuviese, uh, tuviese cambiado, okay, el, el uh, horario si lo hubiese dicho, okay. But it didn't happen because he didn't mention it. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time, okay? Probably this employee have a schedule in the afternoon and this day was changed to the morning and he didn't know, he didn't realize about that. That is why he didn't arrive to work. I would have come, hubiese venido a trabajar si hubiese recibido mi horario on time, a tiempo, okay? But I didn't receive that. That is why I didn't come. Okay, so those are the perfect model to express regret or remorse about past actions. Good. I have a... Yes, tell me. Okay, uh, when I, I see the, the chart, uh, use perfect model to express regret or remorse about past action. Um, the form you should have plus past participle to talk about regret. And my question is, I can use different models with, with this form. Or, or I 
can use only sure. Also, you have could there. Two or four. Yes, you. I mean, you can use any other model because you know there are a lot of models, right? You can use any other model that is pressed the situation that you are trying to explain. Following the form. Following the form, yes. Okay, the other question is I I can see uh cool and wool have are often used with if plus have plus past participle. Um I can use present perfect and past perfect because in the first sentences is if I have no uh, this is this is past perfect. Let me look for the um verb tenses. Let me check verb tenses. In order you can see the difference between them. So we're going to use past participle. Okay, verb tenses. Verb tenses. Past. Oh. Sorry that it's raining here. I don't know if you can listen to the noise, but it's raining a lot. Creo que mis headset quitan un poco el ruido, pero no sé si lo pueden escuchar. I I can. No. I can. I can hear you very good. No okay. problem. Remember that we have regulars and irregular verbs. Okay, remember that. So, for example, asked, is it irregular or regular? Irregular. Irregular. It doesn't change, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, asked is regular because at ed is regular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, look at this. Got yeah. is the past tense of get. Yes. Okay, ¿cuál es el participio ahora? Gotten. Gotten, okay. It means that is I different. Could, I could. Uh -huh. You have... see the difference here between okay. regular and irregular. Okay. Yes. Okay, here we have some examples. Base form. Tenemos la, la, el verbo que es el verbo, que el, norm, el verbo normal. Base form. Tenemos luego el past simple. Solo es un pasado simple este. Okay. But past participle is different. Okay. For example, go is the base form. Past simple is went. And the past participle is gone. Here is the other bird tense. Okay. <laughs> tiene que saber. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we have the verb do. Past simple is did. Okay. And past participle is done. Okay. Okay. Then we have get, got, and gotten. It says that also it could be past participle got, but usually we use gotten to see the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, there are some verbs uh, that are the same. In this case, both is the same with both. past participle. Both. And you can see there the difference, okay? Took, taken, come, come. Oh, came, I'm sorry. Came, come, gave, given, spoke, spoken, told, told. Okay. Those are irregular. Todos son irregulares estos. Pero um, you need to know 
the ones that change y los que se mantienen. Okay? To see the difference. Okay. If you check, come. There is one example that we have here that says come. Look at this. Yes. Uh -huh. It is past participle. Okay? Ahora de tarea les va a quedar este fin de semana que ustedes revisen, ¿ok? Review. Y si pueden estudiarlos, estudienlos también. El past participle de, lo, de los verbos. Tenemos tres tiempos principales con los que conjugamos otros tiempos, ¿ok? That is why it is important that you not then. Ok, good. Uh, now, I'm going to present an example. Okay, vamos a hacer un, un um, review um, here. I'm going to send the link to you in order you can do it, and then you're going to check. Okay, but first we're going to read the examples that we have here. Should have plus past participle. We use should have plus past participle to talk about things we regret, okay? I got really wet walking home last night. I should have taken an umbrella, okay? Look at this, taken an umbrella, okay? O sea, me mojé porque no llevé la sombría, ¿verdad? Um, la hubiese llevado, okay? That is a regret. The speaker did not uh, take an umbrella when he went uh, out last night. So she got wet. She regrets that she didn't take her umbrella. That is the example. Okay. Here we have more examples. Okay, cold. We know that the bird is, is regular. That is, that is why it doesn't change. Spoke, but the the par past participle is spoken. Okay, it changed. You should have spoken to ma to me before deciding. Okay, we have another verb that is regular. Invited, it doesn't change. Stayed, it doesn't change. Shouted, it doesn't change. Okay, good. Let me send this uh, link for you to do the examples that we have here. Just try to uh, write the correct verb in past participle. Okay? Traten de recordar esos verbos que están ahí in past participle. If you don't remember them, you are free to use Google if you want. Let me let me send to you the link also by WhatsApp. There you have it. And let me know how many do you have correct. When you finish, click here where it says check answers.
Let me know when you are ready, please. Ready? Yes, teacher, I finish. Okay. Good. Let me check. I will ask you one by one now, and you will tell me uh, what I've answered that you have. Okay? If that is possible, you will spell it for me. Because I want to make sure that uh, you have a correct spelling. Okay, number one, Gilberto. Number one, teacher. Please read the complete sentence. I should have bath, baths more and water. Okay, B O U G. G. H T, right? I bought more water. Okay, I should have bought more water. Okay, number two, Carlos. Uh, okay, teacher. You should have a listening to me. Oh no, it's already just a bird. Excuse me? Okay, listen. You should listen. have listened to me. Okay, good. Listen to me. Yes. Number three, Hazel. Number three is I should not have forgotten my passport. If okay. O R G O T T E N. Okay, very good. Uh, address. Number four. Number four, yes. You should have worn a tie to the restaurant. You should have worn. Okay. You should have worn 
a tie to the restaurant. Okay, good. Thank you. Daniela Lisette, number five. Oh no, está de oyente, Daniela. Okay, Roberto, number five. Okay, num number five. I should not have eaten so much. E A M. Eaten. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Number six, um, Sophia. Sophie? Six, uh, sorry, teacher. We should not have dried uh, them during the storm. Okay, driving. Very good. Thank you so much. Number seven, Maria Leticia. You should not have hidden your sister phone. Double D, right? You should not have hidden your sister phone. Okay, very good. Hidden. 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 Yes, Hidden. very good. Okay. Number eight, Mauricio Buruca. Leave. Buruca is, I think he, he, he's, not, he's not here. Yes, 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 I am here. <laughs> okay. Uh, number eight, I should have did more research. Number eight, you sh uh -huh, I should have did more research. Research. Done. Uh, remember, done. Remember, remember that is past participle. Did, did done. Okay, yes. yes I fine. should have done more research. Okay, number nine, uh, Mauricio Benavides. Drunk. She should not have drunk. Please read the complete sentence. She should not have drunk so much wine. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number 10, uh, volunteer for number 10. I should have, I should have written more. Rotten or written? Written. Written or written? Written. Written. Okay. okay. Written. Okay. Correct. Correct. All of them are correct. Okay. Very good. Good exercise. That means that uh, you are reviewing, okay, the past participle. Very good. The main uh, adjective in this activity is that you recognize what is the past participle of the verse, right? And you can identify when you are going to use it, okay? This case will be one of them. Okay, good. Wow, this time has passed so fast. Okay, good. So we are here. Oh no, sorry, this is the last yesterday presentation. We are here. Complete the sentences which should, could, would have plus past participle. Okay, if the survey had received proper trading, they could have answered the customer questions. Okay, the bartender. Uh -huh. Should I take not taken? Okay, what is missing? Que le falta? Cuando es negativo, shouldn't have, right? So it means that it's negative, it will be the bartender. Should it, shouldn't have 
taken, okay? Or should not have taken. The bottle okay. of wine without permission. Okay, good. Number three. The servers will have been in trouble if they have been late for the meeting. Okay, very good. The server uh -huh. will, will have been. Would, okay, would have been, okay? Been. Yes, been. In a trouble if they have been late for the meeting. This is the, this is the uh, past participle of be. Been. Yes. Okay? Been. Identify that. Recuerden el verbo to be tiene. Presente. Pasado. Past participle in this case. This is the past participle. Okay. Been. Good. Number four. Mm -hmm. The students have asked the manager for a day of. Okay. You should have asked the manager for a day for of. Day. Okay, very good. Number five, the cashier should not took and have they shouldn't have taken shouldn't have taken that money from the right register. That money from the register. Okay, good. Number six, I I should have called. I should have let the manager. I was sick. To let the manager. I was sick. Okay, very good. Good. Good exercise. Good job. Here. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, this is only for for sentences when I regret about that. Can you please repeat? I'm sorry. Uh, for example, should have plus past participle. I can use the formula only when I regret about that situation. No, not always. Remember, uh, also it could be a different scenario that is not not necessary. Just a regret. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, good. Uh, okay, we have this first, and then we have this. Okay. Read the following situation and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or solve then. Situations. We have five situations. One of them says money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who who is taking it. Uh -huh. Number two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Number three, my customer complained that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Number five, the schedule is a mess and it is very difficult to a staff to understand it. I'm sorry, it's very difficult for a staff to understanding. So it means that the schedule has been designed, but um, nobody can understand it, right? It is not clear like the charts that you did with the schedules. Organized. Uh -huh, it is not organized. Okay. So this will be, uh, 
Let me see if we have time. We're going to do it, but uh, if no, we're going to discuss that tomorrow. I going just to make the the the, the groups, and you can do it like as a homework. Before we move on to this activity, we're going to finish yesterday uh, uh, activities. We were missing uh, group number two, number three, and number four. I don't know who wants to be a volunteer for yesterday activity. Yes, teacher. Room two. Room two. So you told yes. me, Gilberto, that you work with, let me see. Hazel. Hazel and Mauricio Bruca. Yes. Okay, let me read again the slide that uh, that was presented yesterday for this activity. Which one was? It was... No. Aha. Uh -huh. The, the situation was, which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? We were yes. discussing about the strategies that you may use in your company to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. You can provide some of them and explain them and also add more. Yeah. Teacher, the, the strategy that my colleague and I recommend regarding overstaffing and under, understaffing and provide the schedule to your employee quickly. Uh, it's, it is very simple to explain to new employer, employer their duties and obligation to begin there and working at work. Okay. Uh, number two, and five method to communication quickly with employees. Uh, we have three options, uh, personal, view mail, and WhatsApp. Hazel. Hazel, Hazel, continue. Are you available, Hazel? Let me check. I guess it's sending messages. Oh, let me verify. No, 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 it's not. It's not she. Okay, I have an observation, one pronunciation word for you, Gilberto. Method. Method. Habla de métodos, right? Method. method. That will method. be the correct word, method. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay, Hazel is not available. What about uh, Mauricio? You were working with them. Oh, uh, sorry, teacher. Yesterday I was a listener. Um, I didn't do the homework. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah. Hazel also disappeared. <laughs> it's not here. Okay, well, no problem. Number three. Katy Briseida, Mauricio Benavides, and Rodrigo uh, is not available, but you can present your uh, strategies, Katy and Mauricio. Katy? Mm, Katy is not available. No. Mauricio, what about you? Yes, I, I'm going to to say that the all all the all the homework. Okay. Just give me a few seconds. I just I'm just 
okay, we we find uh, a lot a lot of uh, strategies. The first one is hiding to your advantage. Number two, utilize con conventional shift. Number three, adjust breaks, launch coaching and training schedules. Four, stay in your shift. Number five, often overtime, offer overtime. Number six, consider short-term help. Number seven, get leaders involved. Number eight, give agents the options to go home without pay. And number nine, prioritize responsibilities. And that all, all the strategies we found. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Also, uh, Rodrigo is sending the, the, the file. Okay. Good. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mauricio. Okay, what about Rolando, Danilo, and Sofia? Rolando, Danilo, and Sofia, are you ready? Because lady is not here. What are the strategies that you uh, discussed yesterday? Okay, teacher. Um... I started your uh, the company is uh, once um, created just uh, profile the destruction the responsibilities of age. Number two, read read receive and make a uh, uh, accusement towards our responsibilities. Create a schedule, a sexually to work two days of every week. Four, including the schedule one hours of sales car every, every themed days. Five, nay, nay, because for every activity on one month uh, number six uh, consider the states performance uh, says, uh, statements at less one years only teacher okay very good ideas. Just pronunciation. Please try to review it, okay? Because, yes, okay. there are a lot of words that you need to improve. But good. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Good. Good job. So now we have a couple of minutes to think about uh, which of these statements you are going to select. Let me give you 10 minutes only. Uh, and that will be, let me see. In pairs. No voy a hacer en parejas. I'm going to create the rooms and you are going to have 10 minutes. Va a tener 10 minutos. to select some situations and you're going to uh, think about the actions that a manager could have done to improve or solve the problems. And tomorrow we're going to present the ideas to solve the problems. Okay, I'm going to send a picture about this to the group. Okay, but let me let me um, create the, the the team teacher but we have to make like a different idea for the all the problem or make idea for one problem of time one or two you you decide one or two problems Okay. 
Daniela, are you available? Or Silvia, please let me know if you are available. Están como oyentes o si sí pueden trabajar. No. Okay. Let me open the rooms. You will have 10 minutes, okay? From now to 9.50. Teacher, fíjese que aquí está cayendo un chaparrón de agua y se escucha bien poco. Entiendo. Uh, mis, mi consejo, guys, cómprense unos headsets, así como, como, no sé, similar a estos, que encierra bien el, el sonido acá y, y no, o sea, no se escucha el ex ruido exterior. Ustedes no escuchan si está lloviendo. Eh, si sí están con esto y se escuchan bien claro ok no problem Silvia si se quiere unir con un grupo y tra trabajar después de la clase la puedo unir usted decide si sí, está bien ok going to join you to the room two Mauricio Buruca, please accept the invitation for, for uh, room one. Si me escucha, Mauricio. Es Mauricio Buruca. Ah, perdón, Benavides. Okay, sorry. I, I, I didn't, I didn't listen. Eh, Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, can you please accept the invitation to rule number uh, one? Le mandé, lo asigné al número uno. Okay. But I can tell who are taking it. Uh -huh. By system number one. Okay, number two. A teacher. Someone bro broke. Yes. Three barrels of the best wine yes, in Robert. a restaurant battle. I only choose one or two problems about that. So you can choose one or two, yes. Mm -hmm. One or two, ah, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. It's a possible solution, the, the problem, teacher. Yes, possible solutions that you can provide as a manager. Ah, okay. Okay. 
É... De... No sé, Robert, dime tú cuál elegimos. Ajá. The customer complete that the service take too long the delivery the food. Okay. Ajá, de la máquina registradora. Pero no puedo saber quién lo ha tomado, qué había puesto. Por mi quizás sería, no sé, le podríamos poner de que, no sé, poner, ah, pero como ya se lo robaron, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es que ahorita desapareció, no es mucho pasado. Ah. Entonces, si Ajá. vos fueras el manager, ¿qué le dijeras al cajero? Al cajero. Ah, para mí, ¿qué tendría que reponer el dinero? Eh? Que se ha perdido. Ah, va, pongámoslo diferente. Ahora digamos que vos sos el cajero. Ajá. <risa> <risa> yo diría que no lo tengo que pagar porque no me lo robé yo. <risa> ah, va. sería como descuento como sí, sure. we, we had a we have a a a, 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 a question another question we have to use that should 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 have two or just answer the question uh yes you may include the grammatical points to answer the 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 situation i mean to resolve the problem I shouldn't have, have gotten to go to work today. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay, thanks. Which uh, action, no, I'm sorry, which situation did you choose? Teacher, uh, if I want to talk about a discount, but it's like a discount for the employees, for something, it's not like a discount from from when someone is in offer. I want to say like, um, I want to discount the, the, the money loss for the, for, the, for the salary of the employees, employees. We chose the first one, teacher. The first one, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taken. Okay, but how you are going to know if you don't know who take it? Yes. We talk, now, we talk with Mauricio, teacher, that we wants to discount, but that is the, that is the question, teacher. <laughs> the discount is correct in, in the sentences? Discount, like I make a discount from the salary? Oh, no, or... no. Oh, that will be reduce, reduce the yes. salary. Oh, or, okay. uh -huh, or uh, take... The, the money that has been disappeared from employees' salary. Yes, this, it's like this, that. Ca this count is like when you buy something in you, you see that says 20% off, right? That is a discount. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
We can answer something like I, I, we shouldn't leave, leave the. I don't, I don't know how to say it. We should not have leave. Mm, no. Well, um, if you don't have cameras, you don't know what happens, right? Uh, you can say, <laughs> okay, if nobody is uh, taking responsibility for this, it means that I will uh, recover my money from all of you. If that is, if the loss is $100 and there are 10 employees, $10 each. Do you consider yeah, it's it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what idea? How do and you feel with the position of employees? <laughs> I just want I just apply this this rule, but from the employees that use in this store the machine register machine. Mm, okay. Because yeah, not for all all of them, just no. for the last one or the last ones that use this register machine. Okay. Well, good luck. So, yeah. <laughs> and after that, we are, of course, we are going to install cameras. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. I will give you two minutes extra and I will, I will close the rooms. Okay. Hey, okay. thanks. Okay, good. In this case, the manager took, in this case, the manager took, the gerente yes. took the decision, the decision, tomó la decisión of collect, de cobrar, to uh, all the, to all the things, sería aquí, to all. Guys, have you been working? Yes or not? Hello? Teacher, excuse me, but I, I have problem in my house. I, uh, my room is leaking. Mm. Okay, no problem. So I try to solve that issue that you have. Uh, so you will have until tomorrow to discuss the ideas. You can do it by WhatsApp if you want. And tomorrow, just bring the ideas how to you how you are going to do to solve the problem, the one that you choose. Okay. Okay. Great teacher. Good. I'm going to uh close the rooms now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Just let me take a screenshot of the teams that I have. And tomorrow, bring your ideas ready. Okay, uh, please go to Go to page uh or to the homework eighteen. 
I'm going to give you the the number. Let me see the number is three point five. I'm going to share now. Just allow me a moment. Exception three, three point five. Okay, it says complete the, the sentences with should, could, would have plus past participle. Okay, number one, please read it, Robert. <laughs> Number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First option, should not have taken. Okay, very good. Number two, please, um, Carlos. Uh, okay, to share the server. Uh, should have been in trouble. The first option. The server, uh huh. Look at this, oh. okay. Fíjense en lo que tiene aquí. Esa es la que van a elegir. Ah, would have been. This is the last one, yeah. Would have been, would have been in trouble if they have been late for the meeting. Okay, number three, uh, Rolando. Rolando? Okay, teacher. Um... You should, you should ask as uh, the manager for a day off. Okay, you should have asked the manager for a day off. Good. Number four, Mauricio Uruca. Uh, yes, teacher. Number four, the cashier. Should not have taken that money from the re register. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Number five, please, Gilberto. Okay. I should I should have called to let the manager I what see. Very good. Send it. And all of them are correct. That were very easy. Okay, good job, guys. Thank you so much uh, for your attendance today. Okay, uh, that will be everything. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good See night. you. Take good care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.